Hi everybody, you're very welcome to week four of Make Code for Microbit. This week we're going to cover radio. So we're going to learn all about how our microbit can send and receive radio messages via its Bluetooth antenna. Okay, so let's get started. So again, as usual, we're going to go to Microsoft Make Code for Microbit. I'm going to click into Microsoft Make Code for Microbit. The home page will open and we're going to get started on a new, new project called Week 4. Click on Create. So last week, just to recap, we covered what variables were and how we set conditions for our variable. So we created emotions for our endangered animal and we created more than three emotions. So everyone picked probably different emotions. So well done. That was really, really hard coding. Again, today we're going to move it on slightly further. So we're going to push ourselves a little bit more and we're going to learn how to send and receive messages using radio. Okay, so delete these two and what I'm going to do is I am going to get started using the radio. So there's a radio section down here and again we're used to the microbit um, work area. We've our microbit simulator or microprocessor on the left hand side. We've our categories in the middle and we've our work area to the right hand side. So I'm going to click on radio and I'm going to see what blocks we have here. So we've lots of different blocks. The number, send ra radio string. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to send across a string. So I add, the first thing we need to do when we're paired up with another group is we need to set a radio group to be the same. So we need to pick a number between 0 and 255 because make code for Microbit uses binary. So we need to set our number and it needs to be a unique number to ourselves and the group we're working with. So we need to pick a number that no other group will pick, okay? So I would nearly say start at 30 and pick an odd number from 30 onwards up to 255. So I'm going to set my radio group to be 37. Okay. So now you need to get your partners to set their radio group to be 37 so that two pairs are working together to send messages back and forth. Okay, so you need to set your radio group. That's the most important thing to do and to remember when we're doing radio. The next thing we need to do, we said we're going to focus on sending a string and receiving a string first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out an input button. So I'm going to bring out button A. And on button A pressed, I'm going to radio send a string. Okay, so I'm going to radio send a string. And the string I'm going to send is what animal are you? Okay, so I've set my radio group. I have brought out my input so that when button A is pressed, the radio is going to send the string, what animal are you? Okay, so that's on my side because I'm sending the string. The other pair that's working with you must set theirs up the same. However, they must set their radio group and then they must set it up to receive a string because they're the receiver of the first string. So go back down to radio and you're going to bring out on radio received string and be careful, you have to make sure that it's received string because I'm sending a string so you have to make sure it's a that you can receive a string. The other group can receive a string. So on radio receive string. So now the other group has set up the radio group 
to be 37 as well. They've set it up that when they receive a string, they want to see the received string. Okay, so they go up here. So you show string, but not only do you show string, you don't want to show the string hello, you want to show the received string. So you drag received string. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to bring this out and throw it in the bin. You're going to click on the receive string and you're going to drag it down and it'll duplicate. Okay, so now we've both set our radio group to 37. I'm the sender, which is the top micro bit. So when I press button A, my string, what animal are you, is going to get sent. So it's not going to show on my micro bit. OK, it's going to show on the second mic bit that pops up over here, which will be on the other device, which will be your pair. OK, and it will say, what animal are you on the received micro bit? So let's have a go. So I'm going to press A. The second mic bit will pop up because you've seen the antenna move. So I'm going to press A again. And it says, what animal are you? Question mark. So that's how we send a string. And then to send one back, you would change it that you're the sender and you can reply, I am a hawksbill turtle. And then you can go back and forth and interview the other pair. So you're going to be working in two pairs. One pair is going to send the first string. And once they've sent the first string, then the other pair is going to receive it and they're going to send one back saying, I am a hawksbill turtle. What animal are you? And then you're going to start up an interview asking each other questions about the endangered animal you have chosen. OK, so that's how you can send words or letters or or a string. But what if you wanted to find out what population there is left in the wild of the other group's animal? Well, then you'd need to send a number. So that's ever so slightly different. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So instead, I'm going to take out on button B pressed and I'm going to change it from A to B quickly. And now instead of sending radio send string, I'm going to radio send number. So I'm going to make sure that I'm sending a number this time. OK, and for the Hawksbill turtle, there are 23,000 Hawksbill turtles left in the wild. So I'm going to write 23,000. OK, so now I'm going to, when I press B, send this number across to the other group. But the other group won't receive anything because they are only set up to receive a string. So they need to remember to change it that they can receive a number also. So I'm going to bring out on radio receive number and then I'm going to bring out show number. Make sure and put it in here. So on radio received number. And then I want to sh show the received number, not show any number. I want to show the received number that the other group has sent across. So now if I press B, the other micro bit will pop up. You'll see the antenna move and click B again and it'll say 23,000. OK, so that's how radio works. The first step is you need to set both groups up on the same radio group. So pick a random number between 0 and 255 and hopefully no one else in your class will pick the same number. And then you will be tuned in to the same radio group as the group beside you. OK, once you've agreed on a number, then you agree who's going to send the first message. So one group is going to be the sender for the first message and they need to bring out the button input and they need to bring out the send string or send number input block okay the other group is then the receiver so they're going to receive the first question okay so they're going to have to make sure that they have the received block out and that they're showing a string or showing a number but not just any string or number they're showing the received string and the received number okay and then when they get the question in and they want to reply with an answer, then they're going to be the sender and the other group's going to be the receiver. So it's going to flip it over on its head. So it means that 
you're going to be sending messages back and forth between each other. Okay, so what's your animal? I'm a huxbill turtle. How many huxbill turtles are there in the wild? There are 23,000. What's your animal? I'm um, a polar bear. How many polar bears are there left in the wild, etc. So base it around the research you've conducted on your chosen endangered animal. So now, without further delay, I want you to get started. Um, your teacher is going to pair you up with another group and then compile some questions that you want to use in the interview of the other group and get started using the radio feature. That's all for me for this week. Looking forward to seeing you next week. Bye.